Welcome to day number one of our Tinkercad projects or activities. Uh, being day number one, today we're going to work on vocabulary. We want to make sure that we always define terms in our own words. That helps it just sink in. It helps it become more meaningful to us if we can do that. So we don't want to just copy and paste definitions, but we want to put it into terminology and using words that we understand uh, as individuals. Uh, the terms that you are going to define today are tutorial, rotate, align, plane, polygon, cylinder, wedge, and duplicate. And those are all terms that are going to be important to understanding uh, and using this Tinkercad program. And our essential question today that should be guiding us through this is why are we using 3D modeling software? Why Tinkercad? So as we define these terms and we start to understand uh, some of the, the words and the, the phrasing that and the, the, just the programming that we're going to be using, what is the benefit of using 3D modeling software to create designs? There are benefits to this technology that we have, and what are those kind of as you start thinking about this? And so that should kind of guide you through this, that question of why. Why are we using 3D modeling software like Tinkercad to create designs? All right, so right now let's open up our design notebooks. Let's pause the video, and then you can restart the video once you have your design notebook open and you are ready to go. All right, we've got our design notebook open, ready to go. Since this is day number one, we want to first put our name on everything. We want to make sure that you get credit for the work that you do. So please, up here at the top, put your name on your assignment, on your, on your design notebook. Once you have that done, you see our color coding, the plan, kind of the roadmap for going through this are the first couple things that we see up here. Anything that has a blue background are the things that you must do throughout this project. Orange backgrounds means those are things that you should do, and then the pink backgrounds mean that those are the activities that you should aspire to do. Um, those, those are the activities that really go above and beyond what we're asking you to do. All right, and we get to our roadmap here with day number one. And so today in class, you have reviewed your previous project. Uh, we've gone over this design notebook, how it's laid out. And now your homework today, which is part of your inquiring and analyzing grade, is coming up with... Uh, the vocabulary terminology and using your own words to define them. All right, so if we click on our bookmark right here for day number one, that will take us down to the start of day number one. You should always set a goal for yourself. What do you want to accomplish? It gives you something to work towards. And then you see our essential question here, which you need to answer at some point today. What is a benefit of using 3D modeling software to create designs? And so a benefit is that word just means What's an advantage? What's, why is it a useful tool? Why is it helpful to you? All right. As we go through here, now you see the terms. We've got tutorial, rotate, align, plane, and so on. Uh, the first three have kind of been started for you. You just need to finish those prompts. And a tutorial is a paper, book, film, or program that, and you need to fin fill in that blank. We gave you a link to a dictionary right here. <coughs> so if you click on that link, it will take you right to... The definition of tutorial you see and here's number one a paper book film or computer program that provides practical information about a specific subject now that one itself might be not quite the language that i use when i speak and so if i change it around a little bit i would say that a tutorial is a paper book film or program that gives useful information okay Useful information, meaning information that I can actually use and how to do something. It's kind of a how-to guide, if you want to say that. Okay, that's what a tutorial is. Now, when we go on to the next ones, rotate, align, plane, polygon, cylinder, wedge, and duplicate, when I go on to those next terms, I would suggest just using that same dictionary def or dictionary link. So if I go back to the dictionary link, Right here, the next word was, I just forgot it, rotate. So I can just type in rotate up here at the top, and there's the definition of rotate. I can read through it and kind of uh, learn what the term rotate is if I'm not sure what that means already. One of the other things I forgot to mention on the tutorial, the, the reason why I like this dictionary um, rather than just Googling the terms is because it gives you some more information. If I really don't know what tutorial is, Here's kind of a did you know paragraph that kind of talks about where this word comes from and kind of what it actually means and it helps us just to understand things. All right, and so that's what I would suggest is just kind of going through this. Here you see it.